Tonight we're going after a group of five galaxies. It's called Stefan's Quintet. 290 million light years from Earth. We're going to be imaging tonight with the big daub that I put rings on so that I can mount it on the equatorial mount. It's a 10 inch aperture, 1,300 millimeter focal length, making it an f4.7 fast and big. This is what you need to get something 290 million light years from Earth. I can't promise the results are going to be stellar. I'm quite sure we'll capture it, uh, but this isn't the Hubble telescope and that's a long ways away. However, it's going to be fun and exciting to give it a try. I'm looking forward to getting started. We're going to start early in the evening. Ideally, we should be in a darker location, but tonight we're going to have to give it a try for my backyard because uh, I can't get out tonight. i got to work in the morning. I set the telescope up last night and uh, in preparation for what I'm going to try to do tonight, going after Stefan's quintet. And I felt like the focus wasn't quite right, so I think I need to collimate, which is kind of a pain, but uh, you got to do it with these uh, Newtonian telescopes. Collimation is kind of a fancy word of, to describe alignment. The mirrors need to be in perfect alignment so that you can get perfect focus. So I'm going to go ahead and collimate. Some people use lasers, some people don't. I like to use them, but I also double check with the naked eye using a eyepiece for collimation. But we'll start off with the laser. I use a centering adapter so that it's very precise. That looks really good, actually. Okay, minor adjustment here. Okay, let's see here. Oh, I think that's all I needed. Okay, we're all collimated and the sun is setting. So now we just have to wait till the same conditions are right and we'll start imaging Stefan's Quintet 200 and 90 million light years from Earth. Wish me luck. Okay, we are imaging. The scene conditions are good. The FWHM filter anyway is reading pretty good. So, I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but right in the middle, that's where right here there are five galaxies, 290 million light years away. There's one up here as well, up closer, obviously it's much bigger. Let me zoom in. You've got one here, one here, that's two. You got these two that are merging together, three, four, five. And there's actually one over there too. Well, I'm pretty excited about the fact that we're capturing <laughs> a group of galaxies 290 million light years from Earth. So we're just going to let the rig do its thing and we'll keep checking on it. Okay, Shadow, let's go out and check the rig. These are my rock tumblers. That's another video. <laughs> Okay, come on out, little buddy. Come on. Let's check the rig. Turn off this light. Oh. Take a look at this. We're looking at five, six, if you include the far left galaxies. And the fact that I'm capturing it from my light polluted backyard just blows me away. Wow. So we are now at, okay, 114 minutes. All right, we're at 114 minutes. And I'm just gonna keep 
letting the rig do its thing. All right, I've got to go to bed in the morning, so I'm going to shut this down. This is looking really, really good. Now that's zoomed in at 100%. Okay, we've got the individual files and we've got saved stack files. So I have lots of options. All right. Ah. Well, it's the following morning and Shadow and I are processing this image on my laptop. I don't want to let you see it yet though, but I got to tell you, I'm really, really happy with it. Oh, you're not helping. I'm really happy with it. But before I show it to you, I want you to understand <laughs> What you're going to look at is 290 million light years from Earth. Shadow, you're crushing me. 290 million light years from Earth. And so, to give you a comparison, this is the Andromeda galaxy. That galaxy is 2.5 million light years from Earth. 2.5 versus 290. This here is the Bode's galaxy on the left and the Cigar galaxy on the right. They are between 11 and 12 million light years from Earth. And so again, 2.5 million light years from Earth, 11 to 12 million light years from Earth. What we're about to look at is 290 million light years from Earth. And so given that, your expectations should be a little lower with regards to detail and so forth. But I'm also really pleased with how it turned out. I'm actually quite amazed. So let's take a look.